Yeah, I know what it is, man. It's Jigu Bobby, and I like them with the hood journals. You know the vibes. M's. Niggas let me start it again. Fuck it, I'ma start bugging again. If I throw five, then Brody throw ten. You ain't dodging knees. You be going with the wind light. What happened to him? He was dissing. Next thing you know, nigga went missing. Trigger figure itching. Welcome to the hood journal. I'm here with. Jigu up, you already know the vibes, man. I'm back and full of effect. You know how that shit go, man. And you know how we coming, nigga. Yes, sir. G, you you know how this go, but I like to give my guests the fans of appreciation for our son of the interview. It's a part two, feel me? If you know, you know, niggas been trying to do this for a minute, but Facts. I'm happy we was finally able to link up. Yeah, it's been a long home. time, man, since like, nigga, like last year, I think the movie did the first one. That's a fact. Yeah, you know, for me, I'll be busy, be busy for me. But I'm glad niggas is tapped in that. And for me, yes, like, sir. it's been a long time coming, you feel me? Word. And like you said before we started recording, since we last spoke, oh, it's all good. Since we last spoke, for me, niggas been going up, niggas been doing their thing. Right. So it's happy that I'm happy that we were able to cross paths again. We both on bigger platforms, bigger stages. Right. Feel me? And regular conversation started. Um, first question I gotta get into, feel me? Like you said, last time we spoke was uh, December of 2022. Right, right. Um, how's the past year treated you? How has 2022 treated you? Talk to me about um, how, the, how the past 12 months been for you. Past, past years? Yeah. Past years, you know, it's been, feel me? It is what it is and shit, you know, we go through trials and tribulations and shit like that, you know, ups and downs, you know how this shit go, this part of life and shit, you know, but for the most part, you know, climb my way back up to the top and shit like that, you know, and everything's everything, you know, just staying out the way, getting to the bag, right. doing this music shit with the game, you know how that shit go, but it's been good for me though, but 2023, I'm about to come a little more different, you heard, yes, like it's about to be a real movie, you feel me, real shit. But talk to me about um some of your biggest accomplishments from the past year. My biggest accomplishment that shit I um accomplished. Yeah. I mean, shit. I, all I can say is like I got like a little, little wiser, a little smarter. Okay. Accomplished, you know, a few things here and there with this music shit. Like my shit been going up. I've been seeing and shit, been getting a lot of reactions and feedback and like like the whole like the whole fucking. <laughs> YouTube, I'm beginning fucking um type beats with my name on it Fire. and shit like that. How, that, how does that make you feel? That shit make me feel good though. It's like I feel like I'm um, coming up for me. So it's like it's been a long time. I've been doing this shit since like 2000, and, like 11. You are OG in this shit for real. real shit. Like, <laughs> niggas don't even know that. Certain niggas don't know that because like they see the face, they like, oh nah, this nigga young, nah nigga. Shit, I've been outside, been off the porch, been doing this rap shit way before a lot of these niggas. It's just like I wasn't taking it that serious though at like back then. Like I was taking it serious back then. Right. But like I can say like when I lost my man's and shit, I was like I felt back on this shit. Like right. you know, I was like, I haven't fucked this rap shit. But I see niggas going crazy with this rap shit, so I'm like, damn, I gotta tap back in. I ain't gonna lie, like this is what I love, this is what I've been doing. Right. For me. Say that, yeah. say that. Anything from the past year that you wish you, you wish you could have done differently? Yeah, because I ain't gonna lie, I got a lot of regrets though. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong. It's a lot of regrets because it's like, damn, like I wish I have did this this way. I should never did that. I should have. You feel me? Right. Yeah, I, I ain't gonna lie. Like a lot of people be like, "Oh, they don't got a lot of regrets." I got a lot of regrets, though. I can admit that. But I wish I could have did a lot of things differently, and you know. But it is what it is, though. It's life, though. This this what it this is what it's all about. You learn from your mistakes, and that's what it is, though. Fuck say it. That, say that, say that. Can't <laughs> can't cry about it, you know. Right. And then with that being said, what was your biggest lesson for twenty twenty two? 2022? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> Not putting people before me, man. I mean, yo, you know what it is? I show a lot of people love for me and I don't get the same love back, you know? Right. It's like, I don't like, I, I show that person love, a lot of love, but then when it comes to me, I'm not, I don't get that shit back. Right. Like, I don't, like, you feel me? That's what I'm going to stop doing, showing the love. You feel me? I'm not going to say I'm going to start being mean, but shit, if you have to come to that, then it is what it is. Fuck it, you know what right. I mean? But like, you know, I'm a, I, like I show love to everybody, all my niggas, everybody. You feel me? But if niggas ain't showing that same love, I'm not doing it. Right, I, I'm right. coming a little different this year. You gotta make sure you're good before anybody else is good. Real shit, like for real, yeah, real shit, real shit. And that's and that's what I be doing. I be putting people before me, you know. Right. Say that, say that, say that. I think one thing that um I noticed that's different since the last time we spoke. Uh, you're a part of a record label, I used to Gamble Entertainment. Talk to me about the record label, how you became a part of that, and um things like that. Yeah, that always been like the that always been like the gang and shit. Like I'm not gonna say a gang <laughs> and right, rephrase right, that. Right, right. I'm not right. gonna say a gang. That always been like a family. Doing something positive. Positive shit. Like niggas is on, you know, 
That always been that always been some shit that we've been had going on since like 2012, 2011. You feel me? But we just never like took it to the further extent. You know, we right. just was on a block with it. You know, handshakes type shit, shooting videos, but it wasn't really like a stable label type shit. It was just right. like bros from the hood. We get together. This is what we jacking. This is our shit. We getting tatted, shit like that. But it's not really a, it's not a gang and shit. But yeah, we've been at that. So we just like we thought about like you know. Tapping in and you know getting to the positive side and throwing it, putting it, changing it, switching it Dope. to our label, clothing line, shit like that. You know, fire, fire. Say that, say that. Um, talk to me about your goals with Life's a Gamble Entertainment Film. I just picked it back up again recently, and y'all trying to dive into a bunch of different businesses. But what's your ultimate goals with the record label? Right. My goals is with this, with this um shit. Like my man, my man is running the shit with us and all that. Like my man's Bishop. Um, he running this shit, he putting in all the work and shit, but our goals with this shit is to get this shit, get it off the ground, you feel me? Like, we could do, we could do distribution deals with it and shit like that, but we forever go on Jack out likes to gamble shit. Like, this right. shit real, we got this shit tatted. On every, every nigga from my side, we got this shit tatted. Most of my niggas, we got this shit tatted on us, so yeah. it's like more than <clears throat> when niggas think it is, you feel me? Like, cause life is a gamble, you feel me? Like. <laughs> That's real but yeah, we trying to yeah, we trying to like you know do deals and distribution and shit, you know, get everybody on on time and you know we just drop the mixtape and shit. So, so we are gonna talk about that, right? Um, with that being said, can you tell us who's who's a part of Life's a Gamble Entertainment, like the artists and things? The like artists, that? yeah. Um, we got my man's. We got the Brody Rico B. He a part of the gang. He part of the team. You shot him out before? Yeah. yeah. Got my um son Nino. Nino the Menace. Okay. He part. He part of the shit. You know. We got um, who else we got? We got um, my man's Dotty. Shout out Dotty. We got my man's Mikey Leno Ho. Shout out Mikey Leno Ho, alum of the platform. Yeah, you know the vibes, man. Um, damn, it's it's a it's a lot of us. We got uh, who else we got? It's 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 a, it's a lot. It's a lot. We got um, we got my son Glitch. Okay. Um, he be rapping and shit. You feel me? It's a couple of us. I ain't going friends. A couple of us. Yeah, it's a couple it of us. And then my last question in regards to the label and y'all bringing it back. Um, when can we start seeing some LA, LAG chains? Feel me? Some LAG jewelry? Oh, yeah. Me? We definitely going to tap it. It's about to get, it's about to get crucial. But shit, you already know how this shit is about one to step play. ahead of me. Yo, you know how this shit is about to play out. I ain't going to lie. Look, we about to go crazy with this shit. Like, yes, sir. We about, to, we about to go crazy with the chains. Like, it's about to go crazy. Like, I ain't going to front. We about to get the chains. It's about to be a movie, though. Damn, LAG man. likes to gamble chains. You know, we going to be... On that crazy shit, you about to go crazy with it though. It's oh, my man's Bishop. He apologized. LAG too, but he's not a rapper. He just uh, he produced the shit. Okay. Bishop paid. Shout out Bishop paid. My son, um, my son Brandon G's. Yes, sir. Shout out to him and all that. You feel me? My son Tay. He just came home. You feel me? So you know we going, we going, we going up with this shit. Say that, say that, say that. Looking forward to it for me. Everything I accomplished. Um, at the time I was recording last month, November 29th, y'all dropped Benji Gang. Um, Benji Game Volume One, a mixtape. Right, Talk right. to me about um, creating that project with your brothers. Uh, whose idea was it? Talk to me about that entire process. Um, basically, it's like it was like songs we all put together type shit. Like I ain't gonna lie, like for the, like since the summertime we've been hitting the studio up, like faithfully, 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 faithfully. Yes, sir. So it's like it's a lot of music that we done did. You feel me? That we didn't just like we just left in the email. You know, we just piled them up. Song after song, song after the song, song after song, just the stash type shit, you know? Mm. It was just like one song that I did want to shoot is the Wop Wop remix shit with me, my son Nino the Menace that's on YouTube right now. Okay. We we did that shit. And then like all the rest of the songs, we we was going to tap it into them and you know. But my man's my man's bishop came and hit me up like yo, he had called me actually, like, yo, what's up, yo, bro? Like, it's about to be Benji B Day next week. This is in November, this is like in November. Right. Before it's B Day, he like, yo. Nixon dropped this. Nixon dropped a mixtape. Niggas got mad songs. Bro. Like, what's up? We doing this right. mixtape for for Benji. I'm like, oh yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That's a good idea. So I'm like, I bet. You feel me? Tapped in with the cover art, nigga. He sent it back, and then that's how that shit went. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Benji yes, sir. game mixtape. We threw all the songs on there. Got it all together. Yes, sir. Then, yes, sir. You feel me? That shit on YouTube. Check that shit out. Sure. That shit going crazy. You know. It's on sir. all platforms. You heard? Yes, sir. Make sure I tap in. Feel me? I seen a couple of Monroe hits. On that, right. like Silent Stepper. Right. I know um, the Forever on that freestyle that you did on Intro Kev Freestyle. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a lot of dope tracks on that. 
Um, with it being almost a month since its release, how do you feel like um, the release went in terms of like, what was everybody's reaction when they, when they listened to the project? Even though for me, a couple of the songs niggas heard before, but what was the reaction when y'all dropped the Benji Game project? I'm not gonna lie, we got a lot of reactions though. Like a lot of people hit me up like, damn, yo, 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 like I wanna be on volume two, deluxe and shit. Like, Fire. yo, like why nigga, why I'm, in, I, like, why I'm not on the feature and shit like that? Like why I'm on a song and shit? Shout out my son, Timmy Takeover too, Monroe. My young boy from Monroe too. My yes, son sir, doing yes, his sir. thing. He on the mixtape too, that's my boy. He be going crazy, you heard? You gotta check this shit out, Timmy Takeover. Yes, sir. But um, yeah, yeah, like it's a lot of people that wasn't on the mixtape and a lot of people that it's gonna be on the next mixtape. I'm not gonna lie. We gonna throw everybody on that mixtape. You feel me? But we we it was basically like a it was basically like a surprise. Nobody knew we was doing it. We didn't really tell nobody. We just kept it amongst like type shit, like uh-huh. us and shit. So we like fuck it. We just gonna throw it out there. So we throw it out there. Niggas like oh what's up? Ah, ah. Feel me? Cause you know niggas be half with this with this rap shit and half you know. But, so you, you know, kept it with the people that you knew was gonna take it serious and knew it was gonna do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So my bro, he put it together. Him, he this was his idea. It was in mine. He okay. called me. He know I'm on time on whatever he want to do. So he like, yo, the G, what's up? What we doing? I'm like, nigga, let's do it. That's tough. And that's, that's what it was tough. though. That's tough. Gangsta. Um, feel me. I gotta hit the sweet spot. Feel me. Your 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 late brother Benji. How do you feel like he felt about the project? I ain't gonna lie, he def- I know he I, I know he definitely proud about that shit because like damn if he was here he's been on that mixtape. That nigga was a rapper too. He was on I got songs with that nigga too, SoundCloud, YouTube, all type of shit, but yeah, I know he definitely would be proud because we had this mixtape for him and shit. Put everybody, you know, put him on a on a mixtape cover his face, you know, that's sure. that's our heart, so you know how that shit go. That's it. that's a real for me. That was that was real tough shit. that I did means. And I got my last question in regards to the project. Can you give us a date for Benji Game Volume 2? Damn, or I Benji can't... Game Volume 1 The Deluxe. Can we get a date for that? Damn, I can't even throw that out. Yet, <laughs> oh, but I ain't gonna lie, but it's coming real soon. No, I ain't gonna hold you though. My man was just talking to me, talking to me about that shit yesterday. Like, okay, okay, okay. Game select like, on the phone. Like, yo, this next one, ah, ah, for me. But it's still, it's still videos we gotta shoot for um, this, the mixtape, Benji Game Mixtape Volume 1. Okay, okay. We gotta okay. shoot like two videos. We shooting a video next week, actually. It's gonna be a movie. My son Mikey Lano Ho, he's shooting the video, I'm shooting the video. Yes, sir. It's about to be a movie next week and shit. Cars about to be out, B&B vibes, you know how that shit go. Yes, sir, yes, sir. My about to go crazy. Yeah, As yeah. always. He's about to go crazy. Um, speaking about one row for me, um, like I said, last time we spoke, December of last year, since the, since that interview, I've been in a lot of neighborhoods in 104.73. I've been to Soundview. Right. I went back to Monroe. I went to Castle Hill. Um, right, right, I right. even went to, for me, um, Evergreen, for me. I went to a couple hoods in 104.73. Um, and the word around town is, feel me, niggas don't really fuck with Monroe. Niggas had a lot of not nice things to say about y'all side. <laughs> Why do you feel like Monroe is most hated uh, in regards to other hoods and 104.73? And why do you feel like Monroe, everybody's talking crazy about Monroe? Yo, you know what it is, though? Like, niggas, you know so crazy, though? Because this, this shit not, this shit not, this shit not nothing new to me. I'm not gonna lie. Like, right. Niggas You've been, been hating us since, like, 2010, when we was on our, when we was on the peak of this Wild and shit, like nigga, we what, like, yeah, nigga, I got you. It's YouTube videos to prove it. So <laughs> niggas mobbing, we mobbing DVDs, Glory D, we did, we done did all of that. So niggas been hating us since way back. Like I'm not gonna lie, my side is known for this the bullshit and niggas hating on them on us. It's 2022 and it's crazy how niggas still hate us to this right, day. Like the next generation, like it's next generation. You feel me? Like even when I was young, like nigga, I'm 27. Like I've been outside since like 2000 and fucking. Five, two thousand six. So Sheesh. I didn't see the shit. I didn't see everything trans. I didn't see how everything went. How niggas was cool with niggas and, and how it went from not being cool with niggas. So you know, but I, I like I like I, I, I sit there on the internet and see shit. I see I see what niggas be talking about. I see what's going on. I just sit there and laugh. I watch. I be saying, just know I be saying though. Niggas be talking crazy. And niggas, but some of these niggas that be talking like never heard of you, never ever seen you in a day of my life, but. It's cool though. His generations passed down. Right. Like, y'all big bros don't fuck with fuck with us, and it's passed down to the younger boys. So it's like, I right, whatever the big bros is on, we on the same thing. Right. I see the younger. That's ones. how my side is. I know. I was able to tap in with um, a lot of times other from your side. Lottie of spin came yeah. on. Um, I got to tap in with Flip Money. I even tap Flip in. Money. Shout out to Flip Money, man. Yes, Shout out to my boy. My sh- my boy going crazy. He just dropped too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shout out to guys. And I know y'all tapped in with um bros from Bronxdale too. My son, yeah, yeah. Goo and Gliz and yeah, um, yeah. Jay Allen and shit like that. Uh-huh. So, my, son, um, my son Cash Out. Yes, sir. Cash Out too. 
feel me? Y'all tapped in with a couple of niggas, and feel me? They on the same time, and I guess they all was, feel me? Facts. So, you know, it's always been like that with the Dell since since back then, though. We yes, always, sir, we yes, always had love for them. They always had love for us. That's fine. And that shit never changed, though. Say that. I guess talk to me about um, some of the young talent that's coming out of the neighborhood. Out of Morocco? Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna lie. They doing their thing. I, I like, I like, I like what's going on. What they doing with this, with this, with this shit? Like they going, they going, they going up with this shit. I'm not gonna lie. They really? just dropped like I think like a couple days ago. I don't know. Last week they dropped flip flipping them. So yeah, they going up with this shit. I like, I like what's going on. I'm, I'm like, I'm liking what's going on. Say that, say that. Cause when I was young and I was coming up, the older niggas was dead jacking my shit and all that. You feel me? Not saying, I'm a, not saying I'm an old head or something like that, you feel me? Like, you fake I'm still, old, I'm still you fake old G. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm for you, I'm for you, I'm for you. Nah, I'm, for you. <laughs> I'm fuck with you. But, uh, but you know, I'm ta- I'm definitely tapped into the younger generation. I like I like the uh, shit. I be mumping that shit. Yes, sir. Yeah. Paying for Niggas from my side, yeah. Young boys from my side, they going crazy with this shit. Like, I can never hate on nobody, you heard? Like, I show love. The only niggas I'm hating, the only niggas I hate... It's the ops. Them, I don't fuck with them niggas. So, yeah. Them niggas be dissing rats and, and you know, into that, but you know that shit go Um, With that being said, um, with you, like you said, you've been outside since 2007, feel me? What's the biggest difference in the drill music and in the music between when you first came outside to now? And also, what's the biggest difference in the streets between 07 to 2022? I'm out a lot of big difference in the... Sh- I, I'm going to start with the music, right? The big difference with the music is that... Drill, the drill music was never out. That mm. shit was, that shit did, did not exist. Because it wasn't as popular back in the day. Yeah, like no, like not even oh. popular. It wasn't, it didn't exist okay, 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 at okay. all. Like okay. niggas didn't know nothing about drill. Niggas know about trap music. Yeah, <laughs> you right, know right. Me? Gucci Man and them niggas, that's trap music and shit like that. But niggas didn't know about no drill. Drill came out in 2012. You from Jose? Chief Keith, right? Chief Keith and them niggas. That shit started from Chicago. You from Jose? But um, it was it's a big difference because when I was growing up and shit, like I heard of the Gucci Man trap music and shit like that. It wasn't really, it was no drill music out, so it was it was definitely it was it was basically I could say this. It was basically about balls back then. Okay, right. Like balls, just straight raps, wordplay, wordplay, rapping. Like I grew up listening to like Jada Kiss, Fifty Cent, yeah, Lil Wayne, niggas like that. You know what I mean? So like the wordplay was way different. Like niggas were strictly on that rap and shit. Like Styles P. Um, right. Yeah, like they, even, even big pun. I told you that. Big pun. He grew yeah. up in Monroe too. Yeah, big pun. Shit like that. You feel me? So like, it was an old drill shit. Now, as soon as 2012 hit, but the Chief Keith came out with that drill shit, niggas was tapped in all right. the way. We like, oh nah, this is heat. And then it was passed to Brooklyn, and now it's in the Bronx. Right. But it's a big difference though. Like, but I, I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I like I like the drill scene though, but. I'm starting not to like it a little bit because <laughs> a lot of niggas' songs just sound the same mm-hmm. and is, they say in the same recycled balls. Like, this shit is, come on for me. Like, when I rap, I be wanting to spit balls. I want to rap, rap. Not just say little bullshit, stupid shit. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. Oh, shit. A lot of shit done change in the streets. Like, what I could say, a lot of shit that changed in the streets, a lot of niggas that was like outside with, them, with this gangster shit. Outside with this gangster shit that got in fucking been a lot of indictments, niggas going to jail, right. shit like that. Like it's not it's not the same in the streets no more. Like a lot of niggas is um pointing fingers at each other and shit like that. But you know, I mean, but that shit was going on since the nineties though, right? In the eighties and shit like that. It's not really a big difference. It's just like the generation now is just crazy though. Like, right, right. Niggas is all the way hot with it now. Like all the way. Before niggas was niggas was doing niggas was on DVDs, you heard like we more with DVDs and shit like that. Right. But they was hot on the DVDs and shit. But like it would just be on the DVDs. But now niggas is all on the internet with it, Facebook. Messenger. They're making their own DVDs. They're making their own filming. Yeah. Like on social media going crazy with it. Yeah, like they 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 doing a whole different way. Like that's the only thing that changed the generation. I don't really I don't really condone it. I don't really like it to be honest. Right. Because I'm older now and I'm wise and I know. What's right and what's wrong, but all that shit on the internet is definitely not. It's not. It's not what it is. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, like niggas got problems with niggas. See them in the streets. Don't even take it to the internet. You know what it is though, because niggas. Everybody want to be tough. Everybody want to be gangster on the internet. Everybody want this image for everybody else to look at them like, oh, yo, he a, he a, he yeah, he, I don't you know fuck me? with him. I'm a demon, right? Yeah, like I'm a demon. Like everybody's a demon now. You know what I mean? Like. It's, it's always cool to be yourself, like nigga. Like you feel me? Like you'll be you'll be yourself. Right. If you'll get money, nigga, fuck bitches, do that. 
You don't sure. gotta be a gangster. You don't gotta be. You feel me? Right. You can stay in your lane. But everybody wanna. Everybody wanna be a demon and be gangster. I should. Man, I should play that. Man, just get money. Stay out the way. Get your moms off the hood. Word. Do positive shit. Like, nigga, like this, nigga. You know what I mean? Yeah, that real shit. Well said, G. Well said. Um, G, you already know I asked this question. All oh, my guests are good. Let's go by the feeling. How's your mental health? My mental health is, is, is good. It's good. It's good. You know, I've been, I've been, I've been good and shit. I could definitely say I'm not stressing. Okay. I'm not going through really nothing crazy. You know what I mean? I'm just going through like real life situations. This is normal for, for for a nigga like like me type shit. Like it's normal for anybody, I guess. Like you know. Right. But yeah, my mental health is good though. I could say, you know, I'm doing I'm doing very good. Yeah, that's that's mental that. is there. I'm in my right state of mind. You feel me? <laughs> happy to hear that. I'm happy to hear that. Bro. Real shit, man. Feel me? Say that. Real shit. That. Um, and then with that being said, you talked about it at the beginning of the in, 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 in an interview, but. Talk to you about what 2023 has in store for you. What is, what's your goals and what do you hope to accomplish next year? Oh yeah, 2023. Yeah, I'm definitely about. Yeah, 2023 is about to be a different type of, a different type of, a different type of type of thing. Like I ain't gonna lie, we about to go super crazy. I'm about to go super crazy. Yes, sir. You feel me? What I'm trying to say like it's 2023. Like why not? For me, like I done seen a lot of niggas pass. A lot of niggas going. Not a lot of niggas not here with me. Like a lot of niggas I grew up with is not even here with me. Right? You know. Mm -hmm. So, you know, so I didn't went, I didn't seen the trials and tribulations. My bros and them going to jail, coming out. Some of them not here, RP, shit like that, you know? So I'm definitely trying to make it, I'm definitely trying to be on positive shit. I'm trying to get on some like, on some real, real, real positive shit. Like, right, right. Not no street hood. Now I'm trying to get on some real business shit. Some real, okay. making some income come in. You know what I mean? Like I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to reach my goals in this shit. That's right. That I'm trying to get this shit off the ground. Like I'm getting for me a little reaction and notice and shit. People reaching out and shit. I, right, you know, but I want to go even more harder. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I know recently. I think That's it was in March. You tapped into the intro. You was on the intro Kev um, platform. Was able to do the freestyle. Talk to me a little bit about how that experience played out for you. You said who? Uh, intro Kev. Oh, intro cap. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. Yeah, shout out to intro cap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out intro cap, man. Yeah, that's my boy, man. Yeah, we tapped in. Me and my son Rico Bees, he was on that shit, man. Right. Dropped the freestyle for him, man, on his platform and shit like that. Yeah. But I definitely got to go back to um, get out, give him an interview, too, because yes, I was supposed to get that nigga an interview also. But we pulled up on him and shit. Damn. That nigga was fake mad at us a little bit, too. I, wow. I can't say he was mad, but we had that nigga waiting for a long, a long time. All right, what time you were supposed to get there? What time you got there? Yeah, I can't remember. All right, we supposed to get there. He told me to get there like around like shit. I think he said like around like 10. Okay, and what time you got there? Nine. No, he said get, no, in fact, he said get there like at 8. I got there like at 9.31 or 10. Damn. But it's in the morning or the night? Not it's at night. Oh, okay. Damn. Yeah. yeah, yeah he was probably... Yeah, yeah, we he, don't know what G was doing. Yeah, yeah. He was definitely... <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Like, I fuck with him for that. Because ain't nothing to get him like, yo, listen, bro. It's over. Right. It's over. Right. <laughs> but I fuck, with, yeah. I fuck with him for that, though. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Man, I gotta get a nigga... Shit, I gotta pull up on my... I gotta pull up on him again, though. I would've been tight, too. Hell yeah. Like, yo. Shit. You know what's crazy? We was, in, we was definitely, like, in traffic. Oh, okay. That's okay. the crazy part. We was in traffic. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. And then, and then we had went the wrong way. Way, and I'm calling. I'm like, yo, which what's the like? Which way is the entrance? <laughs> like, go around. He's like, come on. I'm like, yeah, yeah. It's too much going on. But we definitely got that shit done and shit. Then yes, sir, yes, sir. you know, he had somebody after us and shit. So we had to like, you know, do our thing and shit. And then because he was gonna have them waiting. We had that nigga waiting for like hour, almost an hour and a half. Shaking my. Uh, you feel me? But shout out to my shout out to my boy Intro Kev. You heard? You heard? Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. It's the Brody doing? right there, man. He showed love. Yes, sir. <clears throat> um, G. I asked you this last time. Who do you want to see next on the Hood Journal? Who I want to see next on the Hood Journal? Yes, sir. Yeah, we definitely got to see. I definitely got to see Rigo B's on here, man. I'm trying yeah. to get this nigga to get on here. Say that, say For the that. longest, you got to definitely get him on here. I want to see my, I want to see the boy Timmy Takeover. Okay. He got to get, yeah, we got to get him on there. Timmy Takeover, man. Shout out to him. Um. Damn, I ain't going to lie. It's a lot of, it's a lot of niggas that... You interviewed those the guys from my side. You already did I, them already. I tried. I'm telling you. You feel me? You already tapped in already. So you already you tapped on Mikey Leno Ho. Okay. I want to see. I want to see. I want to see. You. I want to see Nino on here too. Nino okay. the Menace. You could throw him on there. Say it um. Up. Um. Yeah, I want to see a lot of niggas. I want to see my son Slim on here. He locked up right now. But you know, once he come out, I want, I'm telling nigga tap in. Say that, say Off that. Off the rip, he definitely gotta tap in. Oh, the Benji gang members, they gotta tap in, they gotta tap yeah. in. 
Definitely, 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 man. But yeah, I've been seeing a lot of fuckery on the internet too. This shit crazy, man. With this, with this, this female rapper trying to come at my my block and shit. I see the young boys doing their thing, man. But you heard, but shout out the hub, man. But tell us, play it safe, tell it chill. Wait, who you talking about? <laughs> if, 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 if you if you feel comfortable, you don't have to say. It. We can talk about it after, but. Now, yeah, I'm talking about, you know, the, the female that's came out of nowhere rapping and... Oh, we're talking about Murder B. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah. she talking crazy let's, about let's, the block let's, let's, talk about, let's, let's talk about Murder B. Yeah. Uh, what's your comments? I ain't gonna lie, my comments on her is like, 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 I'm gonna just keep it all the way 100. Like, who are you? Like, I don't know you. <laughs> I've never heard of you. But I understand you, I understand you with them boys. You know, you tapped in with them and shit like that. And that's cool. I mean, they, they want some fuck... Monroe shit Right 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 That's cool But My thing is this Like You you, she, you don't got no right To even be talking about us We don't even know You know nothing like that I'm not saying She started talking about us In the beginning But whatever Conflict they had With the with the bros And shit And whatever How it went down Showing niggas Try to expose Or whatever like that the, on, on a new video That came Whatever New music video The young boys My hood did But don't do it. Like, don't do it to yourself. You better chill, relax. You're a female. Stay in a female's place. You dissing all these other niggas, all these other drill rappers. They don't even know you. So, definitely, I don't know you. You feel me? I'm a whole different generation. I really don't know you, but just chill out. I don't know you feel me. I don't be doing this. I don't do this raps. I don't do none of that shit. You feel me? But if it come to, like, dissing the bros and shit, I might spit, you know, come at you a little bit. you gotta do a female, though. I'm just, now you know, just like, yo, chill. Like, you feel me? Niggas don't know you. Like, bitch, stop. Stop it, bitch. <laughs> you heard? Say that. Say like, that. Stop it. Bet, bet, bet. Um, G, go up. That marks the end of the interview. This is the Turkish shit segment. Anybody want to shout out anything? We'll give a chest to the people they want to hear. Yo, shout out to the Brodies, man. You already know, man. Listen, man. We about to come a little crazy. Different. Everything different. You heard? Like, 2023, we coming crazy. Niggas already know the vibes, how we coming. I ain't gonna lie. Shout out to my bros. Free my bro Slim. You heard? Sure. Free the Brody. Shout out to Mike Elon Ho. Shout out to Shout Dot. Out Mikey. Shout out to my man, Rigo B. Shout out to everybody. Earth. Free the bros. Shout out to the Block Monroe. You know how we come in M's all the, all the time. And, you know, everywhere I go is the right. M's. You heard? Shout That's out to the bros. You know, we going crazy and shit like that. It's crazy. I was just on the phone with Mikey too a few minutes ago before you called me. Shout out Mikey. Too. Shout out young, young niggas from the murder. That's a fact. That's a, yes, my son right. going crazy too. Yes. But yeah, man, you know the vibes though, bro. You know? I ain't gonna lie, thanks for coming and shit too, popping out and shit, man. It's been a long time, you. man. Niggas ain't seen my face on this platform in a minute, you heard? Yes, I'm sir. back. Fuck all the house. Fuck the niggas. Yes. We going up, you heard? It's about to be a movie. Shout out to the. Yo, listen, look. And listen, um, listen to that Bitchy Game mixtape too. That shit got a lot of heat on there too, you heard? Yes, sir. Tap the fuck in. If you've been, tap in. Yes, yes, sir. G Go Up. Thank you so much for the interview. Thank you so much for locking in with me. Long overdue, long time coming. Keep doing your thing. Stay out of trouble. Keep putting on for Monroe. And like you said, Benji Gang, Volume 1, the mixtape is out now. Go tap into that. Tap in Volume 2, too. It's coming. It's yes, coming. Yeah. Oh, and, 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 and tap into that Wild, wild Remix. Me and my Salino did, man. We went crazy on that shit, man. Yes, sir, yes, sir. G Go Up on YouTube, you heard? Uh, that's right. <laughs> Niggas let me start it again. Yeah. Fuck it, I'ma start bugging again. Yeah. If I throw five, then Brody throw ten. Yeah. We dodge your knees, yeah. you be going with the wind like. What happened to him? He was dissing. Next thing you know, nigga went missing. Huh? Trigger finger itching. Huh? Slippers don't stop. Huh? They keep clicking. No, no. So there's no more left. Huh? We too grown to be arguing on the net. Yeah. Get what you and kill whoever's next. Yeah. Cause on the trip, got your bitch getting wet. Yeah. No competition, she already know who the best. Yeah. Hollow tips gon' rip through your flesh. Yeah. He was stuck holding on to his chest. Damn. Niggas mad cause I'm headed for success. Yeah. You get the picture, something like Picasso. Pockets so heavy like a nigga hit the lotto. Stay with borders, I shoot better than Lonzo. No hesitation, 